Gabor, you did mention um, the insulin resistant state whenever someone is infected and not necessarily COVID, but any other um, infection. Uh, yeah. Your body gets into an insulin resistant mode. I know that there's a type one diabetic because you know whenever I have the cold virus or any, any infection, uh, which may not be serious, just last about 24 hours. I know my insulin needs would go up, but I know that that's insulin resistant. I'm insulin resistant for as long as the virus is active in my body. So what is, so what, so how do, so how does that work? What exactly is, I, I do like to, I know about the insulin resistant during infection and the need for um, higher doses of insulin, but exa what exactly is happening there in the human body? Uh, that's, a, that's a very good question if you ask it a little bit differently, because you, you say that you need more insulin. So I'm, I'm not sure that's the perfect approach when you, are, when you have an infection, because there is a reason uh, your, your insulin need goes up. And that's the reason because you measure uh, your glucose and your glucose goes up. Yes. But there is a reason why your glucose goes up and that's because your immune system needs more glucose. So is it a smart thing to, to completely uh, suppress your glucose level to healthy, so-called healthy levels? Again, it's, a, it's, it's typically context dependent. What is a healthy glucose, blood glucose level? And a healthy blood glucose level like five or what is it, 90 in the US, uh, it's healthy in general, but is it healthy when you are mounting an immune response uh, to a acute infection? So that's that's that, that that's how I would phrase the question that uh, you you observe that your insulin need goes up to maintain the same glucose level. Yes. But should you maintain the same glucose level? That's that's I think a more more interesting uh, take on 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 this. So I I would if I was a type one diabetic continuously measuring my glucose, I would click, quickly look up what the typical glucose levels are in, in non-diabetic healthy uh, people during a acute infection and then i would let my glucose level for for transiently for i mean it takes one or two three days or something like that uh, be a little bit uh, elevated around uh, i don't know 6.5 or or something like that instead of uh, aiming for for five because insulin acutely in healthy people, and I can say also in uh, type 1 uh, diabetics, if, if well managed, um, is uh, anti-inflammatory. Mm. So if you add more insulin, you are suppressing uh, acute immune uh, responses. And that's uh, not necessarily a good thing when you are mounting an immune response. What so I would, I would let a little bit go, and when I feel, uh, start feeling better, uh, I would help with more insulin to bring the glucose level down to normal because, because it also helps uh, the immune system mount a proper healing phase of, of, of the, the kind of, uh, yeah, we, any immune activation we tend to call inflammation, but it's kind of an anti-inflammation when, when you are healing uh, from, from an infection or an or a injury, for example. What a fascinating explanation. Well, thank you for that, because it's always bothered me, especially when you realize that despite all that insulin, you're not actually bringing the blood. Blood glucose is just stubbornly where it is. Stubborn, it's just not coming down. And you start taking more and more insulin, and it feels like you're just take, taking water. So you might as well just accept that you are going to run high for about two days, it doesn't, I mean, I can't remember the last time I had an infection out or I was ill, but I remember in the past when I have been ill, it's just insulin just feels like you're just taking water. It just doesn't do its job. So maybe- yeah, Don't, don't, don't yeah. Uh, let it go very high and for, uh, for oh. an extended period of time, but uh, temporarily uh, or transiently, uh, it may not be the best uh, strategy to, to start uh, dosing huge amounts of insulin while uh, your immune system is busy with, with the, these pathogens. Mm -hmm.